As we know, these anti-abortion activists, they kind of got a victory today in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court gave abortion decisions back into the hands of the states. Here in New York State, we know the government's already passed laws codifying abortion rights, so women still have access to that. So that's one reason why we've been seeing anti-abortion activists showing up. Let's take a look at the video. We had about a handful of them show up here to the steps of City Hall, celebrating the Supreme Court's decision, but also saying the fight still goes on here in New York because they still want to see an end to all abortions in every state, including right here in New York. They're with the organization OverturnRow.org. Again, the demonstration here, not nearly as big as the other rallies we've seen on the opposite side of this issue today. Abortion rights became U.S. law back in 1973 under Roe v. Wade, so 50 years ago. And these demonstrators tell me that for much of their lives, they've been working to undo that law in order to protect the lives of the unborn. Today, they feel like some of their efforts have finally paid off. However, there could be backlash now from abortion rights supporters. Uh, the vast majority of this country, some polls show 85 percent believe abortions should be legal in all or in some circumstances. One big question in the abortion debate has always been if abortions should be allowed for women and girls who are the victims of rape or incest or those with dangerous pregnancies who need an abortion for their own safety. Some of the anti-abortion activists we talked about here said they believe life begins on the first day of pregnancy and that unborn children should have the same rights as everyone. Have a listen. So we love both uh, a mother and a baby. So if a father is a rapist, it's not a baby's fault. We cannot kill a baby because his father is a criminal. But instead of that, we need to support the mother. So some people believe there should be exceptions for abortion. The folks we talked about here believe there should never be any exception. As again, as we mentioned, the fight does go on state by state across the country for abortion rights and who will have access to it and who will not. For the anti-abortion activists looking to overturn that here in New York, it is a uphill battle all the way in what we know is a very liberal state.